you're into mushroom hunting and you want to find the highly prized chicken of the woods, stick with me in this video because I give you a unique habitat where I am sure you will find chicken of the woods growing. Chicken of the woods is one of the most popular fungi for foragers and naturally has a citric flavour to it. So it's really great to add to lots of different meals, um, especially with its texture. It's an extremely easy fungi to find once you know what you're looking for and where to look for it as well in particular. You're looking for a bright yellow fungi that grows on dead or dying deciduous trees and occasionally on coniferous trees as well on you. The most common trees you're gonna find chicken of the woods on are oak and sweet chestnut and then you'll find them frequently on cherry and on willow as well, uh, occasionally on apple and on you too. And if you do find them on you, you need to be aware that you is a deadly poisonous tree, it's uh, toxic. And I haven't eaten one from a yew tree before. Uh, the notion is that they are edible on yew trees. However, you would need to be very thorough with your cleaning because even dead pieces of yew, dried up leaves for example, that could be in the chicken of the woods, um, are still toxic. Often you'll find them in lots of tiered brackets. Um, so they're bracket fungi, uh, they don't have a stem or a stipe. And then underneath the mushroom, it has thousands and thousands of tiny little pores, so it doesn't have gills. And its colour being bright yellow to orange, and sometimes it can turn white. There is nothing in the UK that looks like this mushroom uh, that's bright yellow and grows in brackets on trees and has pores and it can grow up to a size of almost half a metre in diameter. You can find really huge specimens. It's a really great wild food uh, for foragers because like I said at the start of the video, the taste uh, with its natural citric lemony zesty taste because of the oxalic and citric acids and because of its texture as well uh, where it's got a dense texture a meaty texture like chicken and it's definitely one of the best vegan meat alternatives um, it's very high in protein as well it's got over 20 grams of protein per 100 grams so not only is it a great tasting meat alternative it's also an excellent meat alternative in time, terms of its nutritional benefits as well and there's been quite a few recent studies on chicken of the woods and it is actually up there in the top ranking medicinal mushrooms as well uh, medicinal fungi uh, so it's uh, immunomodulating it's anti-carcinogenic anti-tumatic antimicrobial antibacterial the older specimens they can stay on the tree for or crumble near the tree there'll be remnants of them on the tree for a year or two or three later and these are the natural preservatives it has in it which make it an excellent antimicrobial fungi and it's been known to prevent a lot of different microbes from forming and is being studied for its uses in food as a natural preservative. So all about chicken of the woods, that's a, a good general summary of chicken of the woods. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you out and show you some deadwood that I would be looking for, the types of deadwood, the types of trees, and I'll give you this specific habitat. The main type of habitat that I will go and look for chicken of the woods in is wood pasture and parklands. And I look for wood pasture and parklands habitats because they have some of the oldest trees in the country in them. And they're usually out in open spaces, which makes them really easy to find. And I also tend to find that there is a lot of ancient deadwood lying around as well in obvious places. So you don't have to scout around woodlands looking for old trees or the right tree species. This is an ancient sweet chestnut and it's out in the open and there's lots of trees here like this. This is the kind of thing I'm looking for and what you will find in wood pasture and parkland habitats. As you can see, this is no small tree and it's at least 400 years old. It's been coppiced on the top, which is one of the things which would have helped it live to this age. Over here, we have an ancient oak and this one's pushing five, six hundred plus years old. This is a seriously old tree and it's out in the open, easy to spot and right next to it is some deadwood. When you come to wood pastures and parklands you can expect to find deadwood like this. This is oak again and this is perfect kind of habitat what you would expect to find a chicken of the woods in. 
Mushroom hunting doesn't need to be all that complicated. Once you get good tips, like the one I've given you here about the wood pasture and parkland and finding habitats, and you can identify the right trees to find them on, um, mushroom hunting, particularly for things like chicken and the woods, it become so much easier. And once you've found one, generally, you're going to find quite a few more in the vicinity. Another ancient tree, this one again, is probably pushing 500 years plus. Uh, just to give you an idea of the stature. When we take a look at this one, I'm sure we'll find some old chicken of the woods on it. It's always good to look all around the tree as well, because often what I'll find is on the tips where there's been an injury where it's been cut, you're most likely to find an old fruiting body. This white stuff here is last year's, perhaps the previous year's chicken of the woods. Once you've found a location for Chicken of the Woods, it's always a really good idea to take a picture of it and store the data on map marking software so that you can come back at a later time when the mushroom is fruiting. Chicken of the Woods is an annual polypore. It fruits yearly and its season runs from the midpoint between spring equinox and summer solstice right through until autumn equinox. If you find an old log like I have here with an old fruiting body, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to time your hunt in conjunction with the environmental conditions. And the environmental conditions I usually find most of my chicken of the woods in are around um, a new moon and shortly after precipitation. That's when I feel I'm really increasing my opportunity of finding a fresh fruiting body. When you find chicken of the woods, you want a nice yellow specimen that's nice and soft. This one's borderline. It's a little bit weathered, just where it's been so dry, but if I soak this in water overnight, it's going to be absolutely fine to eat this one. Um, and you can see just up here, I'll zoom in a little bit, you can see just up here where it's starting to dry out. Um, but in my experience, um, just soaking it in water overnight is going to rehydrate this and um, the, in, the actual inner part of the fungi is going to be in good enough condition for me to eat. What you don't want is you don't want it to be brittle and just fall apart when you touch it. If you've had success at finding chicken of the woods after watching this video from the tips I've given you about looking in wood pasture and parkland habitats, please let me know in the comments below. I love hearing your success stories. It really motivates me to continue making this content. I'll see you in the next one.